Hi YouTube and this is JTrain997 back this time with my G.I. Joe Rise of Cobra Steel Crusher APV with Nitro Viper review. Now this of course is one of the upper class vessels from the um, Rise of Cobra line. Um, it costs $25. This is of course the Jeep from the Paris Pursuit scene. There on the side you have the same picture of the Jeep. On the other side just the EA logo. Okay, and on the back of the box you have the um, little bit just says the Steel Crusher Armor plated vessel, or APV, tears through the Paris streets on a mission of destruction to release the nanite weapon and destroy the Eiffel Tower. The Nitro Viper blasts through the traffic at top speed and smashes past obstacles in his way, but he can't shake the G.I. Joe team that's determined to stop him. Includes Nitro Viper, removable iron plow, um, doors open, flip down missile launching bays, pop-up missile launcher. Okay. The Nitro Viper's little Biocart says, Cobra Nitro Vipers drive the high-tech vessels in the Cobra fleet. They're fast, aggressive operators who can uh, expertly navigate narrow city streets and rough dirt roads with equal skill and a total disregard for anything in their way. Preferred weapon, Mars Industries D57A Extreme Environment Tactical Rifle. So, looks like a great um little Jeep, a great vessel to have. So, let's pull it out of the box. Okay, and here the Nitro Viper is out of package. Um, really not digging this helmet, how this huge plastic visor works, which you can see it just looks gigantic and unrealistic. Um, the Viper has the normal range of motion. I'm not very, he's a really bulky figure. Um, so not really too crazy about him. But he's only there to drive the, um, APV, so without further ado, well, you have, of course, the simplized instructions, how to make all the stuff work. And then once again, something a lot of people complain about, the return of the sticker sheets. Once again, I love these things. Um, really brings a good nostalgia factor back. A little difficult to put on, but hey, no pain, no gain. So let's put these stickers on. And here it is with all sticker applications done. The sticker application took a solid 20 minutes. So um, a lot of little ones like right there, things like that take an irritatingly long time, but... It's definitely worth it. The presentation on this thing is really, really great. Um, the plow does pull off the front if for some reason you wanted it to, but I'm keeping it on. No really, real reason to pull it off. So onto the side. The doors do, of course, open to show the interior. Um, missile doors do flip down. The missiles, I don't think, are removable. They're giving me a little pressure when I try to remove them, so I'm not going to force it and make it break. See the Cobra logo and the Hummer logo on the back. Same on the side, the flip down missile doors. Open it up and you can see the Nitro Viper in there. Okay, nothing special about the bottom at all. Um, rolls really, really nice. Really smooth. Okay, so onto the top. You can see the Nitro Viper in there. The sticker applications here. You can actually see the interior. There's actually some really nice detail in that. Okay, so you slide this forward, which causes your missile launcher to pop up. All three missiles can be stored in here. One of them's not there because I just launched it a second ago. But I'll pop that in. Hit the button. Missile launches. Then if you don't want it in there, you can just take it. Drop it right back in there. And it'll stay just fine. Actually, it's better to put them in the opposite way so it's easier to grab. Okay, but this slides all the way forward. And then you can flip this windshield protection down. And then you also have a little hatch in the roof for another figure to be poking his head through. So um, overall, this is a really, really solid um, vessel. $25, bucks, um, in my personal opinion, is a steal for this. I know it seems like a lot, but you're getting your money's worth by all means. Um, the Nitro Viper, I wasn't crazy about the figure, but like I've already said, you know, it's not about the figure that comes with the vessel, it's about the vessel. And on that aspect, it delivers. So um, this is JTrain 997. I do highly recommend the APV. Um, it's obviously in the movie. You can see from the trailer. The um, little accessories, all the hidden little compartments are great. Doors open smooth. Rolls great. And there's pegs for um, your characters to be standing on the side if you don't want them sitting in the truck. Um, APV. So without further ado, this is JTrain 997. I would give the Steel Crusher APV a 9.5 out of 10. Very solid. Very great. Definitely recommend picking up. And without further ado... I'll see you soon, YouTube.